Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. That's about a half an hour north of Denver. Today we're going to accomplish a couple of things. We're going to take a look at a really nice truck and in addition to that we're going to talk about the differences between a pickup and a hauler because I understand the fact that a lot of you guys watching this today might be in the market for a pickup as well. So with that being said, let's kind of compare the two real quick before we get into things, a pickup versus a hauler. Okay, number one is safety, and I don't care what you're buying in terms of transportation, safety is first and foremost. So let's look at the advantages. It's just sheer size and mass of the haulers, especially like the one we're gonna look at, that's an advantage because if we are in an accident, if something happens, our chances of walking away in a hauler are substantially higher than they are in a pickup. So their advantage goes to hauler. Another safety issue is brakes. Now, I, I fully understand the fact that, there, that these pickups today can tow an incredible amount. There's no doubt, there's no arguing that. My question is, is what's gonna stop you when you get a really large trailer full pushing you, especially if you're coming down a mountain? Those little tiny brake pads that the pickups have or the large drums that you find on the Freightliner. Again, advantage goes to the hauler. Now let's talk about something else besides safety. Let's talk about comfort. Okay, we're gonna see how much room and space is in an M2 here in just a few minutes. Let's compare that to a pickup truck. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they got tons of bells and whistles in them, but you're still crammed into a small space. So if you're whether you're going to horse shows, livestock shows, anything, and traveling substantial distances and going coast to coast, what are you gonna be more comfortable in? Again, advantage goes to the hauler. Now finally, let's talk about practicality for a minute. It's not uncommon at all to see pickup trucks bringing $100,000 plus, okay? So we purchase a pickup and we go coast to coast, travel all over and we get what? 300,000 miles out of them if we're lucky and then what? We have to replace that with another 200 or another $100,000 plus pickup at that point. So that gets us well over $225 thousand dollars to get us what roughly 500 to 600 thousand miles so let's compare that to a hauler where you can spend 150 160 thousand dollars one time one time to get us to that 500 600 thousand mile mark so from a practicality standpoint advantage again goes to the hauler so if really if you combine all the things that are important to us the haulers really check all the boxes. So with that being said, I'd like to introduce you to one. This is a 2019 Freightliner M2106. The conversion is sports chassis. And it's gonna be a little bit different than what you and I are used to seeing in the videos, but we're gonna go through all of that. So let's start by taking a look in front of the truck. A direct view in front shows you yet another safety advantage these trucks have, and that's the windshield. See how large that is? There's over 2,500 square inches of glass. So why is that important to us? Well, obviously visibility. We're going up and down the road, we can see things coming at us and from the sides as well. So just the size of the windshield is a safety advantage for a Freightliner. This particular one does come with lane departure. We can see that right under the sports chassis sign. And there's a button inside that I'll show you that you turn on. So if we are starting to get tired or whatever, and we're starting to get out of our lane, that truck's gonna notify you that that's going on. This is stock number 5U201. Five one four. Now let's take a look under the hood. This truck comes with a Detroit D8 engine in it. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 350 horsepower 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. A couple of things we can notice from this side. Right here is our fuel water separator. Right here is where we would add the power steering fluid. So if we're underneath there kind of checking things out and a gust of wind comes up, 
That's going to stop. It's not going to slam us down. The only way to get that down is to push it down. The truck comes with Michelin. 255 80R 22.5 tires. This truck has just a touch over 3,600 miles. Not 36,000, 3,600 miles. Let's take a look inside the driver's seat. And we'll see a couple of things, like I mentioned, that's a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. For example, right here is the button for heated and cooled seats and you actually have three different levels in terms of how hot or how cold you want that that seat to get this is for the lumbar system to add air in the the back of the seat this is for the sides right here now you can't set it to auto or exit so you put it to exit drops down and you crawl and get in and hit auto and it's going to take you back up to where it previously was. This little button right here, see where it says back cycler? That is actually a massager. So you press that as you're going down the road and that's gonna massage your back as well. So there's really an additional comfort feature to this specific truck. We take a look at the back seat. You can see that the seat does make down into a bed. I did check with the Division of Transportation. This does qualify as a bed. And just like all haulers, we can put that seat up just by pressing a button. Under here is where we put the def in. This holds up to six gallons. Data is showing between 300 and 325 miles for one gallon of def. This does have a trickle charger located here. So if you're traveling and plug in at night, that will assist the batteries. This is the front storage component. And you will see right over here is a hookup for an air hose if we find ourselves in a situation where we need one. Now this bed's a little different, isn't it? Okay, he put a couple of upgrades on it. For example, there's a large storage component right here. In addition to that, there's one on this side and that side as well. Now, I've had a couple people ask me if this is welded or bolted in. That's bolted in. So you can remove those if you want to. As we do our walkthrough, you will see we have a hitch right here for a bumper pull if one's needed. Right here is where we plug in the lights. As we take a side view from this side, obviously a truck this new with this low miles. I mean, guys, the truck's basically brand new. There isn't a scratch on it, any of that sort of thing. We'll take a quick look at this storage box on this side as well. When we take a look from the ground, you can really see the space thing I was talking about as we started the video today. Just how much room is in there. I mean, guys, you're gonna get in there and go 12, 13 hours and basically feel like you just ran to the grocery store. So let's take a closer look at the inside. Okay, so gauges are all pretty self-explanatory. We've gone through those several times. Um, over here, this is for the fan. This kicks either hot or cold air into the back seat. 
I mentioned that it comes with an Allison transmission. That's automatic, so everything is right here, and it's very, very simple. Reverse neutral drive. Right now, we're in neutral, and we have the parking brake set. As we pan on over, this is for the windows here. This is for the mirror heaters. Okay, here is our locks. This is the engine brake. There's another safety advantage to this truck over a pickup. Say we're going through the mountains and we need to kick on that engine brake. We put that on high. We have almost 300 horsepower coming back at us. So right there is a safety advantage as well. This is the button here for the backup camera. This is the lane alert button I spoke about. So you press that to turn on. Um, obviously you can shut that off, but if it's on and you start to drift over into a different lane, this truck's gonna notify you of that. This button here is for the dump valve, so that releases the air in the back of the truck. An example would be when we were hooking up the trailer this morning, hit that, dumped a little of the air out, and it hooked right up. Your basic climate control located here. We have storage here. In addition to that, we have storage located right here. This is the remotes for the DVD player as well. On the other side, the buttons that I showed you when we were outside the truck are located right here. They're a little bit hard to see right now, but they're located right under that seat there. So a very nice truck. Let me repeat myself. It's a 2019 with just a touch over 3,600 miles on it. If you guys have any questions about this or anything on the lot, please feel free to call me. My cell phone number is 970-370-4067. The work extension, 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.